Good morning, everyone. It's going to be a beautiful Saturday. It's already like 40. It's 8 o'clock in the morning up here, uh, gravel parking lot above Helen Hunt Falls. I'm going to go up Gold Camp and go up Buckhorn down uh, Captain Jack's and Spring Creek down to Columbine and up to uh, was that? Cutler and Muskoko and then back down Gold Camp back down to the parking lot so that's my route not exactly sure how far that is but hopefully it's should be in the double digits hopefully 12 at least but we'll find out hope everyone gets outside and, and enjoy this beautiful day that we're gonna have all right catch you later All right, about, I don't know, a mile and a half into my run, going up Buckhorn. And uh, it's all clear, it's beautiful. I had to shed layers already. Look how beautiful that is. Okay. All right, guys. Coming up to one of my favorite spots along this route. When I'm running by myself, I always stop here for a moment to take in the views it's just beautiful and it's such a warm day yeah yes loving it out here Well, I'm on the lower Captain Jack's, dealing with plenty of ice. So far, I've stayed upright. Hopefully, that continues. Wow, this is still slowing me down pretty good. You can see I'm dealing with plenty of snow and ice yet. But even on the this side of the mountain hill here, with no sun, it's pretty warm. Almost it's at the point of thinking of putting on traction. Oh guys, look at that. It's awesome. Will Rogers Shrine there, if you can see it. The trail here is nice and clear on this section. Still on lower Captain Jack's. Look at that. Oh, 
All right, almost down to mid Columbine. Look at that stretch there. That was a little hard getting down. So, so a little icy there. Just around that corner is the parking lot for mid Columbine. Continue on. Just got up Mount Cutler, took my traction off. Now I'm on Muskoko. Oh, look at the views here. Muskoko, heading towards Gold Camp Road. Pretty nice out here. Let me show you the views I have. I'm on Muskoko yet. This is what I'm dealing with. I'm almost tempted to put my traction back on, but I know once I get to that top over there, I'm probably good again. But, oh my God, this is slippery. To where I came from, wasn't any better. Well, I haven't fallen yet. <laughs> Let's see if I can make it through this stretch. Alrighty. <laughs> okay, I only made it two feet. I gotta put traction on. I can't even get up this. This is crazy. Alright, traction back on. Much better. Look at that. I didn't make it far. And it just gets steeper and steeper. That's where I need to go. All right. Let's see how this works. Oh, God. Much better, though. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, it's amazing what traction can do for you. Alright, even after that little hard section, I kept my traction on, still have them on. Because I still have plenty of snow and ice I was dealing with. Traction oh, sure makes your feet feel heavy. Top of Mount Muskoko Summit. Still on Muskoko. A little slow going, steep, dealing with snow and ice. And for you guys familiar with this, you'll know that a micro right here on that trail, that's called Daniel's Trail. It goes back down to the Cheyenne Canyon Road. That's where I came from. Ah, oh, so nice out here. So nice. Love it. And that's where I'm going. Make my way to Gold Camp Road.
I'm done. Back to the Jeep, yes. That's like four hours of hiking, running. Probably about 15 and a half miles. I kept forgetting to start my watch again after taking video and photos. But, oh my God, it's so beautiful. Enjoyed it. Felt really good. In two weeks I'm running uh, 30k race behind the rocks, Moab. I think I'll do okay now. So looking forward to it. Now I'm hungry. Let me go get some Chipotle's. All right, see you guys later.